herzlich willkommen zu We Love in Concert mit den Telekom Street Gigs und einem der größten Rock Acts der Welt. Linkin Park sind heute mit dabei. Auch Sie getreu dem Motto, die besten Bands, wo Sie keine erwartet. Sie waren gerade noch bei Rock am Ring vor knapp 100.000 Leuten auf einer ranzigen Festivalbühne. Ja, und heute sind Sie hier vor gut einem Hundertstel dieser Leute, also ungefähr 1000 Leute, im Berliner Admiralspalast für Linkin Park. Eine relativ äh, intime, äh, kuschelige, überschaubare Location. Und ich gucke da jetzt mal rein. Die Sensation ist perfekt. Eine der größten Rockbands der Welt rocken die Street Gigs Bühne. Mitten in der Festivalsaison bleiben wir unserem Motto treu. Die besten Bands, wo sie keiner erwartet. Denn wir holen euch Linkin Park in ein kleines, stuckverziertes Theater mitten im Herzen von Berlin. Das gibt es nur bei den Street Gigs. Ja, eine absolut schnieke Location haben wir hier für Linkin Park klar gemacht. Und ich habe die Band auch getroffen. Und zwar äh, in Zweiergruppen. Jetzt sind sie hier. Chester und Mike, Joe und Phoenix, Rob und Brad von Linkin Park. Hi guys, how are you? Wie geht's dir? We're doing good. How are Wonderful, you? thank you. Good, thanks. This stage is to you guys a bit small, I would say. Are you more or less nervous now? Uh, I don't know. It's a very intimate right um, atmosphere, right? It, it's intimate, which is kind of fun. I think there's a there's a good energy in the live, uh, the big live shows, you know, the festivals, and having just finished some of those, that's that's a lot of fun. But then when you get inside and you can see everybody's faces and and you know play a, a show that's a little more intimate, that that's got its own set of energy to it as well. So uh, I think it's it's fun to kind of be able to go back and forth a little bit. How do you like uh, this historical venue tonight? It's beautiful. We're having, we've only been here for, for maybe 20 or 30 minutes, but um, I'm getting good vibes from this place. I'm excited about the show for tonight. Is this different? Do you, do you have a different live show tonight? Um, the show tonight is a little different. We're doing our headlining show. Um, it's similar to the festival set we've been playing that we played at Rock'em Park and Rock'em Ring. Mm -hmm. And uh, the atmosphere is definitely going to be different because we're obviously a lot um, closer to all of the uh, people here in attendance. And after all your uh, years of experience, is, is there still some stage fright or stuff or something like that? I'm terrified of everything that happens off stage. So actually when I'm on stage, I'm really comfortable and then for the rest of the day I'm horrified. And I'm just throwing up and I'm nervous. It's just, it's really weird. It's like the opposite of what people would expect. And you? Um, still nervous? Yeah, I'm terrified about the show, as you can tell. <laughs> so, the record is coming out tomorrow. What do we expect? We're, I mean, we're, we're really thrilled about uh, the release of Living Things. Um, this album, for us, is built on, you know, all the things that we've learned on the past four records. I think for us, you know, the first two albums were establishing our identity and letting people know what the band's about. The next record was about branching out in many different directions and kind of experimenting with many different sounds. And then our most recent record, A Thousand Suns, was a concept record where we really took one thing as far as we could. And looking back at all of those experiments and all those things that we learned how to do, we realized we never, you know, at this point, what seemed like a lot of fun would be to kind of like take all of the best things that we learned and do them all on one record. And it's full of, um, I think very like short but you know exciting songs um, that were our favorite things in the recording process. How does it feel uh, when uh, people are singing along your songs? Does it still uh, bam in your heart? <laughs> it, absolutely. Um, there's nothing better than seeing a crowd, um, no matter how large or, or small the crowd is, um, singing along to your songs. You know, uh, that really means that they've connected with the song on a very intimate level. When not only um, do they sing it because they love the song, but they sing it in chorus with, you know, thousands of other people um, uh, together. And that, that only happens at live shows uh, for bands. You know, very rarely, I think, outside of maybe a, a good um, Euro football match, um, does that many people get together and sing the same melody, right? So um, it, it's really beautiful when, uh, when people connect that to our songs in that way. And um, you know, the other night we played uh, Rock and Park and um, 
it was a great crowd. They were very, very active. And, you know, same with any large crowd. When you see, you know, 80,000 people or however many people were there, all together singing back at you, um, it, it's overwhelming. You know, the hair stands up on your arms and the back of your neck, and uh, it's very exciting. So, yes, it, it, that will never get old. You know, that's um, one of the reasons why playing live is so, is so much fun and so special to us. Great. Thanks a lot for your words. Genug gequatscht, jetzt wird es so gut wie ernst. Vorher muss ich die Band noch mal ganz kurz frisch machen, die so ein bisschen eau de toilette, ja, noch mal einmal Haare föhnen. Und äh, wir schauen noch mal gerade nach draußen, denn die Fans und Gäste sind schon da. Rockstars kommen jetzt auf die Bühne. Ich freue mich drauf. Linking Park bei den Telekom Street Gigs hier in Berlin im Admiralspalast. Und zwar jetzt. 